Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm Chris Mazzarella, and you're watching No Reserve Classics. And before we get started, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, because you never know, your dream ride could be in the next video. And remember, we post here first, right on YouTube. All right, guys, here we have it. The beautiful 1969 LS3 RSSS Pro Touring Convertible Camaro. And this baby has it all. It's got an LS3 376 525 horsepower motor, a Tremec TR6060 six-speed manual transmission, power rack and pinion steering, full Willwood brake setup, front and rear. It's got vintage air conditioning, a full custom interior with a sound system, and it's got a Chassis Works Chris Alstein suspension from front to rear, and it's even got a nine inch Ford Strange Engineering rear end. And I know you guys can't be with me here today on this beautiful turntable, but if you visit us at No Reserve Classics, you'll be able to take this ride as well as all of our other vehicles for a 360 degree virtual tour looking at the beautiful exterior of this car. And when you're done doing that, hop over to the inside for another 360 degree tour. All right, guys, let's hear how this LS3 sounds. Oh man, you gotta love an easy LS3 startup. Oh baby, this baby sounds nice. Holy mackerel. Hey guys, before we get started, let's get a little bit of safety strap in. And you guys hop inside and let's go take this bad boy for a ride. Wow, what an awesome, pleasurable driving experience I'm having here today, guys. The beautiful 1969 Chevrolet Camaro LS3 powered car. Man, I have this beautiful six speed manual transmission along with that 12 volt rear. Man, holding all this horsepower down to the road. Now, what's really cool about this car is how custom and cool it is. On the exterior of this vehicle, we got that really cool blue paint with those awesome gray stripes. And we have the same thing transpired on the inside with the beautiful blue with that awesome gray color. And what's really cool is it has power windows and they are tinted, so just keeping the car a little bit cooler when you have the power top up and those windows up. So definitely a really nice feature, a nice elegant feature to keep this baby cool on the inside. So let's talk a little bit about more about those amenities. It's an Alpine radio with Alpine speakers. So a really nice sound system that's got Bluetooth. So you just take your phone, you connect it through the Bluetooth, simply throw it away, put it in this really nice center console and forget about it. You got a phone call, you want some music, you simply don't have to touch your phone and just touch the radio. It's really, really modern day feature that sometimes we take for granted. And you have that TR6060 six-speed manual transmission and a strange engineering nine-inch rear end holding all that horsepower down to the road. So if you wanted to, simply just downshift and light those tires up, guys. This thing has a lot of torque. And I'll tell you what, the suspension on this car is absolutely phenomenal. I've been driving this car for about 45 minutes and I haven't bottomed out once and we're going over some really nice bumps and you can't even tell. So this car is really well put together. The suspension is doing its thing, doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing, sucking up those bumps and making sure that your drive is definitely an impeccable one. When this motor was built, there are two options. First option was a 425 horsepower option and the second option was a 525 horsepower option. This is the big boy. This is the 525 horsepower GM crate motor. And I'll tell you what guys, this baby has some horsepower. <laughs> it just throws your head back in every single gear. It is phenomenal, I love it. And paired up with the Chris Alstein's chassis, this is unbelievable. Now, it's got a front subframe in there. It even has the G-Machine cross member bars in the center of the vehicle. Now, this is a unibody construction, so normally you'll be able to take off a few bolts and remove the front clip. That is not safe structurally when you're doing some of these turns here where the car is just straight. 
The car doesn't have any body twist or flex, especially in a convertible. The first thing they do is tell you not to open the doors when a vehicle like this is on the lift. Why? Because the vehicle from the center can flex. Look at that, I'm taking my hands off the steering wheel going straight, that's really cool. But it could flex, not with this. There's so many sub connectors on this vehicle, it is super, super tight. And I'm doing 45, back and forth. The car returns back to normal better than a lot of, see, look at that, a lot of people love this car. You're gonna get a lot of head turners. It performs better than a lot of new modern cars because of all the options that are in this vehicle. That's what separates this vehicle apart from all the other Chevrolet Camaros on the road today. And with all that horsepower, guys, you can't forget about one simple thing. Whoa! The, the Willwood six piston front brakes, as well as the Willwood four piston rear brakes on this baby, stopping this car just as quick as we're accelerating. And although we have this beautiful vintage air conditioning system keeping us ice cold, sometimes it gets a little hot and maybe the weather's not coordinating with us. With the simple press of a button, that electric top, that's right guys, you don't need two people to get out of this car and help you put the top up, simply just pull over, press this button right here, and the top's gonna come up in a few seconds, lock it down, blast that air conditioner, and enjoy the road ahead. Man, the driving experience of this car is just great. You have those beautiful sport comp gauges in front of you, made by Autometer. It's got that definitely that black background with the white lettering with that orange needle. Just a vintage look, and there's enough gauges here. We got our water voltage, our fuel, our RPM, our speedometer, and of course our oil presser. So just enough information that we don't have too many things going on with us. No digital crazy gauges going nuts while we're looking at the road ahead. And we have some really nice amenities that we don't really see in a lot of the Camaros, such as cup holders, a center console to put your storage in, whatever you got with you, cigarettes or vape pens or a water, just keeping you cool, anything. You got the cup holders and a center console. So you have a lot of cool luxury items that you normally don't see on a car that's 52 years old. I mean, power windows, beautiful custom interior, from the door panels to the seat, the carpet, and even the boot matches, which is really, really nice. All right, guys, well, this has surely been an awesome day today. We've got the sun out, enjoying this convertible. But unfortunately, guys, we're gonna have to bring this baby back to the barn so I can tell you guys just a little bit more about this car. But for now, I'm gonna downshift and enjoy this ride. Guys, we have another one of uh, No Reserve Classics uh, Camaros here. They always seem to send us really gorgeous cars. Uh, this has an LS3 in it. Um, we got it in. Uh, tables were pretty far off. Uh, you can see where we started on the dyno. It was very rich. Uh, but we got it all dialed in now. It's running very well. Uh, final numbers were 464 to the tire, which is going to be uh, a pretty healthy car for sure. Someone's going to have a lot of fun with this one. Everything dialed in really nicely. It did what everything was supposed to do. And uh, now we're just gonna go out on the street and, and check some of its drivability and get all that taken care of. And then uh, this is ready for someone to take ownership. Thanks for taking that ride with me, guys. It was an awesome and pleasurable one for sure. Now let's dive into this bad boy just a little bit. And let's start off with the front end of this vehicle. Man, that RS kit looks absolutely stunning in there, guys. You saw those rings those beautiful Halo Restomata headlight kit on there with the awesome fog lights on there as well. Just complimenting it. And if you guys haven't done it already, make sure you guys hop over to our other video where we brought this car in and let you guys know what we're gonna do to it. So what we did was we painted the whole RS kit on here because it wasn't painted before. Just gives it that awesome RS stance from front all the way to the back. And as we move forward and move up, these stripes are absolutely stunning. Super, super, super deep into that clear. 
you don't even feel it at all and you can't even notice it. Just the way the quality of the paintwork was, the fitment of all the panels, even going down the side. Look at the wheels, look at the stance. Now, those wheels in the front and the back are tucked up under those fender wells, really, really nice. Those General G-Mac tires, front and rear, brand new. With the brand new wheels, make sure that you see those Willwood uh, calipers underneath them, giving it just that awesome view from the side. And of course, can't forget that LS3 emblem that we added in the front, letting everybody know what's underneath that hood. But even moving forward towards the doors, look at the body lines on the front of the door, the back of the door, all the chrome was all polished up really beautifully. Got the new rocker panels on, the chrome wheel well trims, giving this vehicle just an outstanding view. Even in the rear, LED tail lights with, of course, making it an RS in the front, had to do it in the rear. Got the awesome lights underneath, ensuring and letting everybody know it is an RS. Now we've talked about what's underneath this hood, so let's pop the hood and see. And man, it is it super classic, super clean, and super elegant. No crazy things going on in this motor, just really tastefully completed. Now the firewall satin black finish with the fender wells, really, really nice. But as soon as you open up the hood, bam, it hits you right in the face. RSSS LS3 filler panel, custom powder coating, custom engraved. Moving forward, we have that beautiful, huge aluminum radiator, keeping this LS3 monster nice and ice cold with the custom panel behind it with a dual electric fan. And we can't forget what we were doing to this car, which is these valve covers. It's just a tasteful, just a little bit of chrome, that beautiful Chevrolet script emblem in there with that color matched blue paint on there from the exterior. Just brought it over to the inside, giving it just a little bit of chrome in there, giving it that, that icing on the cake. And it gives you a visual of the vintage air conditioning here, the power rack and pinion steering, the beautiful alternator, that really nice crate motor, that GM crate motor in here, and those beautiful headers going down into that exhaust, giving it that beautiful sound that you guys just heard of me driving this bad boy. And you can't forget, last but not least, our Willwood brake package right here. So everything is really, really nice, really clean, and really new. Everything, I mean, I don't even have any dust on my hands. That's how clean and elegant this motor is, guys. And here we are, the final part, where you guys are gonna be most of your time, and you well, guys will not be disappointed on this interior. That blue from the exterior definitely carried over to the inside and some really cool features like look at the seats. The stripe from the exterior of the vehicle match all the seats in the front and the rear, giving it a really nice cushiony feel from the front all the way to the back. Safety wise, everybody's got their seat belts. Mine even still has the sticker right on there. So. These are really, really new, still has the plastic on there. But looking straight ahead, we have a lot of nice carbon fiber elements from the door sills to the full gauge panel to even this built specialty steering wheel that we custom ordered with the carbon fiber wrap going in around it. Now we opted to have the chrome inserts in here instead of the black, just give it a nice little touch. But if you're taller, you're shorter, you have a fully adjustable steering wheel. Looking right ahead, your auto meter gauges. They're really nice, black, so they settle in nice and got the orange arrows going, so it's easily accessible for your eyes to see the road as well as watch them as you're driving on the road ahead. As I showed you guys before, a fully electronic top, windshield wipers, headlights, and the custom sound system. Now the sound system, we have our speakers down below and it is Bluetooth and it does have USB. So not only can you plug your phone in through there, but you also have it wirelessly through the Bluetooth controller. And right above that radio, you have the beautiful vintage air conditioning setup. Really smooth and easy to function to what you want, heat or cold. And it flows right into this dash, doesn't have any cracks, doesn't have any divots in it. And you have the really nice vents for the driver, the passenger, and even the center going through to the back seats. Now. 
our shifting Tremec right here. We have that beautiful Hirsch shift knob with the beautiful Hirsch shift polished aluminum shifter in here, short shifter. So that's it right in gear right there. And that's accompanied by the beautiful palette that you see underneath with the leather shift boot. And if you really like the way this material looks and feels, the power top boot also has that really nice blue fabric. So not only is it custom on the interior, but the boot also has that really nice custom blue leather upholstery and it's a snap in. So super easy, super quick. So not only will you look good on the exterior of this vehicle, but you'll also feel good driving it. All right, guys, the underbody of this car is where it is at. Chassis Works Chris Alstein's paperwork right here in my hands, guys. And now, <laughs> normally I wouldn't do this, but I have to do this because I don't want to miss out on any components that are underneath this car. It's got the Chris Alstein's G Machine front clip. It has billet, fully adjustable front and rear coilovers, tubular and upper lower control arms, G-bar, four rear canted rear coilover system suspension kit in the rear, the G connector and the center support, the transmission connector, the anti-roll bar. Guys, it has it all. I have all the paperwork for it, all the instruction manuals for it, all the way down to the axles in the rear. We have it all. This is what makes this vehicle a touring car. Now, normally you would see a vehicle like this on the track, but since it's a convertible, this car is meant to drive and enjoy the ride. Take this up into the mountains of Pennsylvania. Take this into the hills of California, going up and down the streets in the Miami beach. This is what this car is made for. You're going to feel like you are driving a 2020 some odd year old car and what i mean by that is a brand new camaro it doesn't have this type of setup you are going to forget that you're driving a 52 year old car and if you guys have any questions feel free to give me a call chris at 1-800-562-7815 and i'll be sure to answer any questions you guys have to ask and here we have it guys our overall rating scale based on a scale of a one to the highest of a 10. And based on my professional opinion, I've broken this down into three subcategories. Our first category, performance and handling. I've given this vehicle a 9.5. Our second category, comfort. I've also given this vehicle a 9.5. And last but not least, the quality of restoration. And you guys guessed it, I've given this vehicle a 9.5 giving this vehicle an overall rating of 9.5. So there you guys have it. The beautiful 1969 Chevrolet Camaro convertible RSSS LS3 powered Pro Touring Monster. And guys, remember LS3, 525 horsepower motor, TR6060 manual six speed transmission, full vintage air conditioning, power rack and pinion, Willwood, disc brakes front and rear, full custom interior with that sound system, and you can't forget the Chris Alstein's chassis work, full suspension setup on this bad boy, guys. Whew. It is one not to be missed. And guys, I'm Chris Mazzarella, and you've been watching No Reserve Classics. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call, Chris, at 1-800-562-7815. And if you guys haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you never know, your dream ride could be in the next video.